Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about layers. So, um, like so other softwares like Photoshop, Elias has layers in order for you to help you, in order to help you organize your objects. Now, in order to turn on the layers, there are two options. There's, you can go to, on the menu, and you're on the menu bar, go to toggle layer bar, and you'll see a menu or the layer bar on the top. Or you can go to Windows, and there's something called an object lister. So this also, this is very similar. Uh, well, it does the same function as the layer layers bar, but it is more in depth, and there are more things you can do. And it is instead of being on a horizontal line and a stack, so it is sometimes easier to navigate if you, let's say, you have many many layers okay so how do you create layers all you have to do is go to layers and say new and we have a new layer right here so right now it just says layer one but you can uh, modify the name so i'm gonna say i'm just gonna double click and i'm gonna say this is going to be body and i'm gonna create another layer and I'll say grill. I'm going to create another layer and I'll say class. And say rear glass. Actually, let's keep all the glasses on the same layer and I'll say just miscellaneous. Okay. So if you want to double, um, so if you want to, let's say you set the name and if you want to change it, you can also double click, erase it and type it in. So let's say you can just retype it, all glass or something like that. Okay, so how do you assign objects into each layer? What you have to do is, because of this particular model is group already grouped, what I can do is I can say Control Shift Left Mouse button to pick object. I can pick the object right right here, and I can say body. I'm gonna click and hold, and there's an assign button. So all you have to do is do that. And now the this particular object or this uh, group of surfaces is assigned to the body layer and you can just check it by turning this on and off and right now you can see that okay so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to say i'm going to pick all the grill surfaces the rear one and i'm going to say grill assign so turn that off and all glass so i'm going to pick here here and the rear i'm going to say assign Turn that off in the miscellaneous. I'll just pick everything, pick object, control shift, left mouse button, pick object, and I'm gonna drag, click on everything. And I'm gonna assign it to the miscellaneous layer. So now because the surfaces are assigned to each layer, you can also change, you can modify it, you can click, uh, you can turn them off, turn them on, change the color, and do all sorts of things a little bit more easily than if you were to have every all the objects in one layer. So um, let's say you let's say the surfaces are not grouped and you want to pick all the objects in a layer, you can also click and hold on the layer and you can say pick objects and it'll pick everything that is assigned to the layer. So let's change this color to something else. So maybe I'm gonna a little orange body and we'll change the glass color so all glass we're gonna change it to a nice blue color like that so you're able to do that by just picking uh, click on the layer and say pick objects okay uh, we already went through this but in order to turn the layer on and off all you have to do is click this little box right here. So if you wanna turn this body off, you can click that. And if you wanna turn it back on, you can click again. And notice when you have the layer invisible like this, you'll see that the box is uh, in a 
checked pattern. So if uh, and if it's a solid line, then you know that it's visible. Now, with this uh, the layer setting, you can also change the color of the wireframe of the surfaces that's in there or the curves. So when you click and hold here, you can change the color. So let's say the body right now the surfaces are orange. Let's say you want to uh, change the outline of the surfaces to red. You can do that, and you'll see that all the surfaces that is in that layer has turned to a red color. And if you want to change it, uh, you can also click and hold and change it to something new. Let's say you want to change to gray, or let's say you want to change to blue, you can do that also. It just helps to distinguish which objects are in which layer. Also, if you want to go back, you can just say none, and it'll go back to your default color like that. Okay, uh, and also within each layer, you can also set the layer settings to something different. Right now, it's uh, selected as a pickable. So uh, if you, if it is set as pickable, you can actually pick the object and everything is live. But let's say you want to make sure uh, you want to separate the layers, objects and the layers, so that you cannot pick it. Uh, all you have to do is let's say I want to put the grills because we want to do something on it, but without having to move, uh, so but without making it movable, you can say, I'm going to just pick all the objects in the grill layer. Oh, you don't have to pick the objects in the grill layer. All you have to do is set the state to reference or inactive. So if you set it to reference like this, you'll see that it's being grayed out, it's sort of a brownish color. But because it's uh, set as a reference layer, you cannot actually pick it, which you know, which can be a very helpful feature. Feature if you want them to stay static. Um, same thing with inactive. So same thing, you cannot pick it. So those are two set uh, settings that you can use to make sure that uh, the objects in the layers are static and do not move. Okay, uh, the last thing that we're gonna do is go over the symmetry setting. So, right now we only have half the vehicle, but let's say you wanna duplicate it over to the other side. There are a few things that you can do, but it is done much more easily in the layers. So let's say you wanna duplicate it onto the other side. All you have to do is click on the layer and click on symmetry. And you'll see that surfaces have been symmetried over to the other side. Now, one of the uh, reasons why this is very helpful is because if you update the surfaces on this side of the plane, it also updates on the other side of the plane because it acts like a mirror. So let's say you want to move this forward a little bit, it's going to move with you. And let's say you want to move it out a little bit, it's also going to move on the other side. So this is a very helpful feature. Uh, when you're modeling to actually see the whole car in without having to create those two surfaces on both sides. Same thing here, all you have to do is click on symmetry and it'll duplicate over. Symmetry here and symmetry there. Now you'll notice that when you turn on symmetry, all the lines are dotted instead of having a sol uh, being solid that indicates that this uh, uh, the surfaces have been duplicated over or mirrored over instead of uh, being an actual solid uh, and it be without being in an actual surface all right that concludes this lesson and thank you for watching